to my van tour video. So this is the van. Caddy Maxi 315. Let's take a look inside. Cab's pretty standard. I haven't really added anything other than a little phone holder. That came with the van. Uh, I think it's for British gas for like, their tablets or whatever. But oh yeah, and obviously blue air freshener. Let's go into the back where the fun starts. The vast majority of the conversion was done by me and my dad. All I've had done is all the battery wiring up, all the lights, everything like that. Split charger from the van battery. And to be fair, that's pretty much it. So as you can see, it's quite dark. So first things first, we've got lights. We've got three spotlights in the ceiling. Here, here, and one just behind you. And then I've also got a strip light underneath where the kitchen is. And now it's nice and bright and you can hopefully see me. Uh, wanted to lay it out so one door one side door easily accessible to get in and out of the van and also the back doors i wanted to be able to go through a lot of people block off the back but i like the idea of being able to open the back doors and get in and out of that way and also when it's warm having the back doors open and sitting sitting out uh looking out the back this is my little control panel so i've got 12 volt under here voltmeter my switches for my lights and then some little USB ports there for charging things. A little hook above the door to put my keys on and then as always safety first carbon monoxide detector up there. So first thing really when fitting out the inside was some blackout curtains. These are really cheap they're 15 quid from Donham which is absolute bargain. The blackout sound deadening thermal really nice seem to be doing the job so far above the cab we've added an extra shelf to make more room above so I tend to store my pillows spare clothes stuff like that up there down here as you come in the door I've got my fridge with a little freezer section and that's my water storage which runs underneath the counter to the sink which I'll have a look at now so yeah the water runs to the sink which is just here next to a dual hob one small one big up above the kitchen I've now got a nice tidy cupboard with all my plates mugs all my utensils that was just a mess until the other day I've got this nice thick foam cut out perfect slots so everything fits in nicely nice and tight hopefully won't make any noise now we've got the cupboards under the bed so this first one this little slide on bolt down there pull it just fits underneath so it's nice and easy to pull it out and also access that from the back if you open the door for easy easy access when emptying it then under all these cupboards that's where I tend to keep uh, bedding so my sleeping bag a chair anything big and bulky that I need to take with me goes underneath the bed let's move on to the actual bed now so the bed's really simple just a nice easy finger bed so all I have to do when I want to get into bed pull it out like so it's all the way out to the kitchen cupboard bottom swab slides along up against the kitchen cupboard and then the back one slots in behind and then that is my full bed plenty of room for just me um, if I bring another person with me it'll be nice and cozy so but yeah just enough for two I'd say at the end of the bed I've got this little extra swab on here for just a bit more length and this also lifts off and that's all my food storage in there it's got a solid bottom on it and really it can also be taken out and used as a little stall outside the van so yeah all my food in there 
and just a nice extension of the bed. Got my fire extinguisher in there, storage pocket with a few cables and towels, that sort of stuff. And then another storage pocket down here. Got my latch to open the back door. And then bottle opener, which also doubles up as a handle to close the back door. Now when it comes to setting up for the night, obviously I need darkness. So we've made our own blinds. We made these frames out of plywood and carpeted them. And then had some cardboard strips sewn into some felt. So they just go up and then a Velcro on, but a little clip that holds them up. And then the same with the smaller one as well. Really easy, take the clip off, put it at the corner, and it just concertinas back down on itself and sits nice and flush. Lastly, we've got our cupboards underneath the kitchen unit. So in this one, I've got my gas. Drop it up vent there to any gas. Drops out underneath the van. All my connections to my cooker underneath. Just a few other little bits and bobs in there. And then this one, I've got all my cooking stuff, so my kettle, all my pots and pans, they live in there. And so far, I haven't had any noise from them while driving. So overall, the total cost of the conversion was just under £2,000, with a few freebies chucked in, uh, a few dales. My dad upgraded his fridge in his camper, so I had his old fridge, stuff like that. But we've managed to get things on a budget. The sofa slash bed is being reupholstered soon, but just use some old bed sheets, cut them up and sew them just for now, just so I can go out and use the van. Hope this has given you some good ideas if you're looking at converting a camper yourself, especially a micro camper. It's difficult with the space to work out where everything where everything's going and how big you can have things. I think we've done a pretty good job. I've got a relatively decent size kitchen unit to be honest the same size if not bigger than what you'd be able to fit in a transporter and the bed it's not massive it's more than enough for me and maybe just about enough for two people I haven't tried yet but yeah i hope this has given some of you some inspiration maybe some ideas and if you've got any more ideas for me things that i might have missed or that you've got in your camper that i haven't that you think might help me drop a comment down below uh, if you've got any questions as well drop a comment and i'll get back to you as soon as i can with as much knowledge as i can but considering itself converted for two thousand pounds i don't think we've done too badly at all and it only took us 10 weeks from the day of buying the van to the first time we'd taken it out for the night so can't really complain quick turnaround ready for the summer it's now mid april so lots of adventures coming up lots of big week-long adventures as well loads of shows so hopefully we can have some fun i'm going to van life festival second to the fourth of june at the west mid showground in shrewsbury there's the last few tickets left for that now and i've got a discount code so i'll leave a link to the tickets and my discount code below if any of you want to come to that really good festival i uh, didn't go last year obviously because i didn't have a van but I've watched a lot of videos of it from last year. It looks really good. Really excited for it. Hopefully I can make some nice content there as well. And have a good weekend with some other like-minded people. Thank you very much for watching. If you did like the video, please hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe. Helps me more than you'll know. I'm really happy with how the channel's going at the minute. Cheers guys.